Hey guys, well today is weaning day. We're gonna wean off the little ones. Now you can see I got, I don't know what, there's seven or eight of them over there. I'll tell you, when you're weaning, it's so tough with little ones because they just get trampled under all the big ones. Because I've showed you before, they're kind of wild and they're kind of spooky. Well, I had the gates lined up and a little bit ago I slipped out. I was able to grab the gate and push it back quick. I got the ewe, the two babies, <laughs> unfortunately the ram, the ewe with horns and one other. I got five of them back there with the babies right now in the catch pen. But at least I don't have 12 ewes and a ram. So hopefully that means we're not going to get trampled too bad trying to get those babies out of here. But today is weaning day. We're going to get her done. Before we do that, let me show you where I'm going to put them. All right, uh, there's the pen where the ewes are. This is the other building that I had over here before. This is where I got my son-in-law's. He's got the two little ewes, the three, I guess, I'm sorry, and the paints and the little ram. We put them over there separate for breeding. I've split the building in half and I put up a small pen here on a temporary basis to hold these two. This will keep them next to these so they've got somebody close by them, but far enough away from the mother. So hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. All right, here we go. We're gonna try to get them out of there without causing too much problems. Stick with me, this may be interesting. All right, here we are, here's who I got. They're up inside, tell you what, I'm gonna set up a camera where you can kind of see me doing this, but we're probably gonna lose the audio on this because I'm gonna set a separate camera up just so you can watch that. Here we go. All right, here we go. Now, I've got a dog kennel just to the outside, so I'm gonna try to do is grab them, take them out, put them in the dog kennel. I don't know if I can do two at a time or one at a time. All right, everybody, we're gonna try to do this as nicely as we can. There's one, there's two. That was pretty simple. All right, let me let these other ones go. There you go, girls, go. All right, I'm gonna go put these two in the kennel. I'll come back for you on the camera. Well, that worked out super slick. I don't think that could have been better if we tried. I really don't. Uh, yeah, they ain't gonna be too happy for a while. There we go. They got buddies though. So they'll have somebody to keep them a little bit busy and keep them occupied. Why now? Uh, they were eight weeks old about three or four days ago. You can wean at eight weeks. You probably couldn't let them go. They could have just stayed with their mother and stayed there. But we're coming into winter, we're December, and eh, you probably can't see too far away, but she's pretty thin. They had two of them nursing on her. They were really keeping her down. When the cold weather like this ha has a hard time for her to build back. That's why I don't want babies in the fall. I'm not gonna do that, a lot of people do. I know for market lambs, you're probably looking for body weight. I'm raising hair sheep. So it's not like I need body weight. Some people just leave the rams year round. Uh, that's the natural thing, but I'm in Nebraska and maybe that works down south, but I don't like babies in the winter like this. It's cold, you know, one, two degrees the other night and they're out here. And mom has a hard time putting on any weight when she's nursing two babies this time of year. You don't have good grass. She's got good alfalfa, good feed, but I think she'll put on a lot more weight with them off. So seeing how it's eight weeks old, I decided let's get them off. Let's give her a chance to pick up some weight before winter. And I picked today because before Thanksgiving, we had a snowstorm. We had snow, rain, freezing drizzle, 
sleet, you name it, for about four days, that's all we had. Now, today is the first day we've seen sunshine in about four days, and I decided, I looked, and the long range weather for the next week is temperatures in the upper 40s, low 50s, and sunshine. So I thought, that's the time to move them. Got them down here now. They can be out, they got sunshine, it'll be warm. Um, I don't think they need any heat. Now they're getting half of the building. I got a feed pan in, I got a water. Hey, what do you do for little ones for a water dish? Way back in there, you probably can't see it, but I bought a $15 uh, dog dish, a heated dog dish, 60 watts of power. That's enough for these two. That'll be plenty of water for them. And sitting back in, they'll have their feed, they'll have a warm spot. When the sun's shining, you get in there out of the wind, the sun's shining, it's real warm for them. So a lot better off than where they were with all the others. And I thought, this is the time of year to do it. So I got them weaned. It was a whole lot easier than I thought it was to be. I got really lucky only having those few in there. So that worked out good. Next time around, in about two weeks or so, I gotta get everybody in, and it's time for everybody to get their second CDT shot for tetanus shot. And I wanna do that in about two weeks. So it's nice to have them out. I won't feel so bad now bringing all them in and getting them ready for shots. We'll probably try to do a little more video while we're catching them and giving them shots this time around. So, hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.